Hello teachers, my name is Andrew Mercer and I'm an online music teacher in Newfoundland, Labrador. I want to speak to you today about glitchy Meet sessions, Google Meet, glitchy Zoom sessions, Facebook video conferencing sessions, whatever your video conferencing tool of choice is, you may have experienced some glitchy video or glitchy audio. Let's figure out what that problem could be and how to resolve it. First of all, Try not to blame big business. Try not to blame Google or Facebook or Apple, whoever it is you're using, or Zoom. Let's not blame them first. The chances of, of their, their platform being the problem is pretty unlikely. It's most likely a problem with either your system or the presenter's system. So let's have a look at what the problems could be. So first thing I want you to do is to run a speed test. Now the way you do that is you go to www.speedtest.com. Dot net. Run the little tool they have, just hit go, and it'll, after about 30 seconds, it'll give you some numbers on your download speed and your upload speed. So if you're on wireless, like if you're running wireless, like you're running it on your computer but you're not plugged into your network, then your download speed might be 60 megabits and your upload speed might be 20 megabits, something like that. Those are healthy wireless numbers. Um, if you're plugged into your network, so you actually have a cable and your, your cable is plugged directly into your network, you're gonna get download speeds of maybe 180 and upload speeds of maybe 120, dramatically faster. Now you, you should be saying to yourself now, boy, that the, the plugged in speeds are way better than the wireless speeds, which tells you that you probably should be plugged in. So my first recommendation is that if you are doing a, a Zoom session or a Google Meet session, and especially if you're the presenter, or you're the teacher or you're the presenter, you should do everything you can to plug in. Okay, so that's, that's that. The, um, the, so wireless is quite a bit slower, but I'm not condemning wireless. You can still do a really good session and be on wireless. So I'm not condemning wireless. It's just wired is better. So once you do your speed test, if you have uh, numbers like six download speed or two upload speed and things like that, you are going to be getting glitchy video and glitchy audio. Though that's not the speeds that you can support that sort of technology with. So you need to, at that point, the first thing you need to do is turn off the power and turn on the power on your modem that you have that connects your, your network to the outside world. So just find where that is, find where that box is, and unplug it from the wall, the power, count to 15, and plug it back in again, and let it start up again. That'll reset that. Also, reboot your computer. And after you've rebooted your computer, and you've rebooted your modem, run your speed test again, and see what you get. You may end up find, you may find that your speed test may be decent results then. If you're still getting poor results, then you need to call your service provider. You need to call whoever it is that you buy your internet from and they will have to run some checks of their own. Now, that's an easy fix because they may be able to fix it over the phone and resolve that issue and you're done. Now, another thing I want to speak really briefly about is um, sending video versus receiving video. Um, your upload speed and your download speed are different things. They're different pipes, so to say, you know. So if you're sending video, you, that sh that's not affecting your download. And if you're, so if you're, if you're watching a, a Google Meet session and you decide that you want to send video, that's not going to slow down your incoming video at all. You're still going to get good video incoming. Um, so don't feel that you have to turn off your video to solve any issues like that. The, the issues are not there. That's not what the problem is. So you, so don't let that, like th that's a misconception, you know? So another thing too, I should mention is that the, uh, if you have glitchy video, glitchy audio and everybody's getting it, it's probably the presenter. So whoever's presenting in that meeting, whoever the video is coming from in that meeting, it's probably on their end. Um, so if the, if you are being a presenter, then pay close attention to your network speed, run your speed test, reboot your computer, reboot your modem. And then if you do have a problem, still persistent problem, your speed test numbers are still low, then you got to call your service provider 
and probably within 10 minutes they'll have it all resolved and they'll probably give you a better price too so check that out okay hopefully that helps everybody if anybody's got any suggestions or concerns or, or comments please leave them in the comment section here and um, if you disagree I'd love to hear and if you have more insight I'd, I'd love to hear as well so please feel free to share your thoughts thank you very much and good luck with teaching online